everyone, I'm Red Herring and this is an unboxing of the Uni Cup from Korea. So uh, I first saw these cups on Amazon and uh, they were they were about I think $24 or so uh, per cup and I did some you know looking around for another seller or something and I didn't find too much on them uh, I didn't even find a Facebook on them. I later found a Facebook on them, but maybe I was just typing it in incorrectly. I don't know. Um, and then I found it on eBay. And when I found it on eBay, they had a two set for um, $30, and that actually included the shipping. So I picked it up on eBay because it was a lot cheaper, uh, and I got two cups for that price. So um, it did ship out of Korea, and I don't know the exact dates that I purchased the cup. I should have written, written it down, but I don't know exactly when I purchased it. But I do know that it only took about a week and a half to two weeks to get to me. And here is my box. You can see that it did get shipped from Korea. It wasn't like from a um, hub here in the United States. Inside of that box, um, I went ahead and cut open the back of it uh, so that I could save the label, but uh, there was a, another box that the cups were in, and it was wrapped in bubble wrap. So here is the cup box itself, and I'm going to do a quick turnaround, but um, I do have to warn you that everything, or almost everything, on this box is in Korean and I didn't have any of this translated so if you speak Korean uh, could you go ahead and leave me a comment down below and maybe pause the video and translate uh, what it says I'm gonna do the same thing with the pamphlet on the inside because I did open this uh, last week when I received it um, and I did have somebody translate that but uh, she wasn't sure on some of the words. So I'm going to, going to leave all of that information in the description if you're uh, interested in it. And if she got something wrong, please go ahead and leave me a comment and correct uh, that portion as well. So uh, some of it is in English, but not much of it. And what drew me to this cup is that in the pictures on Amazon, it just looked crystal clear. So I really, if, if I get a clear or a white or whatever cup, I like them to be crystal clear. Um, and so I was curious to see if this one was actually crystal clear or if they just made that, uh, made the pictures look like it was. I, I'm sorry, I'm talking through this and I know that uh, if you are trying to translate it, you probably paused it. So hopefully you watched it through once at least before um, before I talked over it and you missed it. I don't know, I guess I didn't really have that interesting of things to say. There were two websites, if you notice, on the back of this, and I'll go ahead and leave those in the description below. The one website that does show the cup on it has other silicone items on it as well, and then the other website I think was the mold that they use or maybe they manufacture molds as well. I'm not really sure about all of that because again it's all in Korean. Here is the pamphlet, uh, Uni Maestro Cup, and I'm going to go ahead and open it up. It's not a whole bunch, uh, so if you speak Korean you can uh, look at the translation that I have below and see if we have any mistakes or fill in the blanks for us. I already took the cups out of their plastic bags that they came in. I didn't want to make a whole bunch of noise while I was on screen. And um, here is the pouch that the cups came with. And here are the cups. They fit in there just fine and there's a quite a bit of room uh, left over to put maybe uh, if you are worried about leaking some uh, cloth liners or something like that. This is a pull fabric. 
even though this is a wet bag or wet pouch, uh, we don't normally want to store our menstrual cups in an airtight container. And I know that it's just a drawstring and there's probably going to be some air going through here, but probably not a whole bunch. You most likely won't want to store your cups in this uh, wet bag um, just continuously. If you are the type to carry two cups using one and taking a clean one with you when you're out, um, it might be fine to use um, to swap your cup out and then you know when you get home you can wash it off and and then just let it air dry but I wouldn't use this as a normal everyday you know rest of the month storage bag for these cups or or any of your cups and here are the two uni cups I did say that I got a small and a large and um, I did a, a couple of pictures of the sizes against my uh, lip balm and if you're curious about why I use a lip balm, I figured that it's an everyday item that you can kind of measure um, and compare to the cups that I have in the photos. Um, you know, they're pretty much all the same size, a standard chapstick size container and you might just have one laying around in your purse on your desk or wherever um, I always have one laying around someplace so that's what I grab and figured you most likely have one someplace too so those are the two cups and you can see that they are pretty much crystal clear let me move one of these away and you can see my face right through it it's so clear and I love that about this cup. Uh, it looks a little bit milky on screen, but it really isn't. If you see the photos that I took on um, Krabby Patties on Facebook, you can see how crystal clear they are. And now that I'm handling them, they're getting some prints on it. Um, I didn't do a capacity test, but uh, according to the box, uh, the this small holds 20 milliliters, and I think that's to the rim, and the large holds 30 milliliters. Um, so they do have a stick style stem, and it is solid. You can see that there is quite a bit of meat between the stem and the bowl of the cup, but it does straighten out right there. You can see the color change or the dome from the inside uh, bowl there and it flattens out right there so you have a good area of a good visible area to cut into this stem if you need to cut that stem off uh, it moves in all directions but it is a solid piece and it's not really squishy or anything it doesn't have a whole bunch of stretch to it so uh, when you're grabbing for it you have a good solid area to grasp onto and it's not going to keep pulling out uh, keep the stem won't just keep stretching outside of you so I, I do like that but it might give some people some um, sensitivity issues just because it is a harder piece of silicone there there's three grip rings on it and they are rounded off nicely they're not raised a whole bunch um, but I don't feel like my fingers are going to slide off of that really easy when I'm trying to grab for it. But the silicone right now, dry, feels nice and grippy. I can press my fingers against it and pull, and my fingers don't really slide too fast over this cup. It might be a different story when it's um, lubricated or, or what. So uh, I'll have to... There's my dog. I'll have to uh, note that next time or when I do actually get to try this on. So um, there's no grip rings right at the bottom of this cup. And like I said, the, the silicone feels a little bit grippy, so I don't think I'm, gonna, I'm going to have a problem with that. We'll see. There are measuring lines on the, those are on the inside, and they're very, very low rise. I can barely hear them. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear them at all. So they're really, really low. That'll be really nice when you're cleaning it out. You just have to rinse it, uh, or swish some water in it and dump it out. I, I don't think anything is going to get stuck in those. 
Um, there is no secondary rim. There's not even an invisible secondary rim to this. But this cup does have some good spring to it, so I really don't think I'm going to have a problem getting this one to open. Again, we'll see when I actually get to use it. There are four suction release holes, or four air holes, and they're evenly spaced around the cup, and they're about medium, uh, medium sized. They do kind of look large on screen right now, just because I'm holding the cup up to my tablet. Um, they are punched right uh, straight in, so yeah, to me, punching holes straight in just makes it easier to clean. You don't have to try to go diagonal into the cup or anything like that. Rinsing it is easy and um, cleaning it with a dental brush would be easy if you needed to use a dental brush. There's only one seam on this cup that I can mention about. And that is right around the outside of this rim. And hopefully you can see it there. It's right there. And I, I can feel it a little bit with my fingertips, some areas a little bit more than others. Uh, so I wish that they finished that off better. Um, and if I put it up against my thumb, you can see a little bit of a lip right here. Um, but for me, because I'm not sensitive to those things, I, I don't see that I would have a problem with it. Um, but just know that it is there and there's no other, uh, any anything else on this cup that would give you problems, well, maybe the stem and that seam. But the rest of this cup is just really nice and streamlined. Um, they do state that it is medical grade silicone. The manufacturing of this cup is a nice cup. Uh, because it's so crystal clear, I can see if there's any imperfections in it. Um, I don't know if I had... Oh, I did mention that uh, one of my cups turned white. Uh, a solid white color when I stretched it and that's one of the indications that silicone has fillers in it and so now I do that with all my cups and this one doesn't turn white you can see I'm just kind of pulling my thumbnails through it I'm shaking and that's how hard I was pulling on it and there's nothing you can still see right through it you can still see me uh, so I, I'm actually really excited to try this cup. Um, I think that it might actually be good for somebody with a medium to low cervix. Their cervix can sit inside of this cup uh, without taking up all the capacity. And the small looks pretty comfy. I like to use smalls when I am uh, just having some discharge or expecting to start spotting or something. That's all I have about the Uni cup for this time. Uh, I'm about two to three weeks out for my next period, so I won't be able to get to try these cups until then. Uh, I don't normally just try them on for a dry run, so I'm not going to do that now. Um, but stay tuned to hear that in my uh, next after my next period, I guess. It'll probably be in my What I Wore This Month for August, um, and then I'll do a review after that how exactly how my uh, period went with these cups. Um, but I did do some squish comparisons already, and they are up on my channel if you're interested in that. If you want to see these cups compared against some other cups, go ahead and leave me a comment down below and I'll get to those as soon as I can. And um, I think that's about it. I guess so. So until I see you next time, take care.